Yeah, John Kerry day again. Very few clouds. Again. You know. Crazy, isn't it? I'm gonna work on the camper again today. Had a few days that uh, didn't do much of anything. Today is the day that I'm going to uh, check out the uh, 12 volt system first and then uh, after that it'll be the uh, 110 volt system and if I still feel up to doing anything I'll uh, start working on the water systems. So, stick around, uh, I might need an extra hand. Hi guys, I'm back, and uh, I forgot to turn you on, but I'm uh, putting the battery back in the motorhome. Whoever wired this did a really poor job. The black is the hot lead, the white is the ground. don't know why they did it that way, but they did. So one of these days I'm going to rewire this black lead to a red one. So right now I'm just uh, going to check uh, check the battery voltage again. I double check it. And then I check it at the circuit breaker that's back here too. I have uh, I've checked the battery before. Uh, well, because I kept it charged in the garage all winter. Just threw the trickle charge on it every month or so. So we're checking 20 volts DC. So let's see how things are. it so we can all see it. I'll figure something out though. Where there's a will, there's a way. Okay, first thing I'm going to check is the voltage at the battery. And we're looking at a fully charged battery. This thing should be about 13 volts actually. 12 plus minimum. Okay, so there's the positive and there's the negative. And is this meter malfunctioning now? This is the second meter that I'm trying, and it's it's not working. Let's check it on ohms. Zero. volts. Okay, not hooked up to anything. 20 volt scale. I'm reading seven and a half volts already. I think something's wrong with my meter. Something wrong with my meter.
guess it's not responding at all. Set the meter. It could be that these test leads are gone. I've had that problem with these leads before. Except they were working. That's strange, strange, strange. I guess we'll go and look for meter number three. Back in a bit. Okay, let's try this again. And another meter. I've had all these meters for so many years. I used to keep one in my vehicle, and one in my portable toolbox, and one at work, and one at home. really need is a good fluke meter. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay. This one is showing zero as well. I guess it would help if I plugged these into the uh, into the meter like a dummy. Uh, gonna be one of those days, I think. Okay. We're on the 50 volt scale, so you look for the 50 over here, 40, 30, 20, 10. So we're looking for it to be somewhere in this area here. About, uh... Okay, so this is also showing that this battery is low. Which is odd, because I had just checked it. So maybe it is. Maybe it is. It needs a charge. That's odd. That's very odd. I guess it I guess it did go flat over the winter, even though I had a charger on it every month. We're reading correctly. So let's go get the charger and the extension cord. Because I can't check anything unless the battery's charged. So once again, I will be back. <laughs> 